Hi guys and welcome back to my channel Fun Size Style. My name is Michaela and thanks for stopping by. For today's video, I'm exceptionally excited about it because it is my very first ever Black Friday haul. For the past two or three years, when I really started getting like serious about YouTube, that's when I also started getting obsessed with watching Black Friday hauls. I think it's so fun to just see what everybody got and all the awesome deals that they scored. And I just love watching haul videos as it is. I think they're so fun. But I've actually never been Black Friday shopping until this year. I was always too afraid to go Black Friday shopping with like all the crowds and I don't know, like it just freaked me out and I just, I was always too scared to go. I always wanted to go but I was always like too afraid to go but one of my best friends, Pippi, who I did the Chubby Bunny challenge with, she, she asked me to go Black Friday shopping with her and I was like, okay, like I will go. She pretty much convinces me to like do things I'm afraid of sometimes, depends on what it is, but I was like, I will go Black Friday shopping with you. It was so much fun. I, it was not that scary. And I don't live in a huge town. I mean, it's definitely a smaller town, but it's not like in the boonies. But it's, it's a smaller town. So the crowds aren't like as crazy as they are probably in big cities. But people are definitely crammed and there's definitely crowds. And you definitely just have to kind of work your way through and be patient and embrace the chaos because it is chaotic. So. This is my very first Black Friday haul. Now we didn't go traditional Black Friday shopping and what I mean by that is we went to Walmart and Meyer on Thursday night and Walmart like it was not as busy as it usually is as so I've heard so it wasn't too bad but the people that were shopped there were not the nicest people like most of them were very good like everybody was civil everybody was nice except for a few people that would just like plow their way through and they had a really good stock of everything if you got there at the time that you could grab your item. I think everybody pretty much got what they wanted just because they had like a really good stock of items. So I don't know what everybody was in a frenzy about but I got hit by a shopping cart by four separate people and some lady was carrying a giant TV box practically like over my head and like missed me by like an inch. So I almost got decapitated but clearly I'm still here. So other than that, it was not bad. It was not, it really wasn't as scary as I thought it would be. But again, we don't live in a massive town. But it's not, it's like, it's smaller than like mid-size. I don't know. But it's not too bad. So Thursday night, like I said, we went to Walmart. And then we went to Meyer afterwards. Meyer had their big, big sales like Thanksgiving morning at like 5, 8, 5 and 6 a.m. So we didn't go to that. But they still had stuff on sale and like still had like good sales. And then... We didn't stay up until like 2 or 3 in the morning and go to like a bunch of stores. Also, like I said, my the town that I live in is smaller, so there's not a lot of options to go Black Friday shopping. To be honest, there's just like not a lot of options. Like, don't have a Forever 21 to show you guys because I don't have that and I don't have like the Toy Secret Pink, so I don't have like the tra traditional Black Friday stores. On Friday afternoon, we just didn't want to stay up until like 2 and 3 a.m. to go shopping. I just like physically can't do that. The afternoon after all the crazies went home we went to the mall and that was pretty good. It was steady but it wasn't crazy but it was definitely busy and like I said like all the major like doorbuster sales were like super early Thursday night and like Friday morning. Um, that was my kind of my first Black Friday experience. Overall it was really good. Pippi and I had the best time like so many laughs, so many memories like after everything that I've kind of been going through I guess. Like, it was just good to get out and just have fun and just laugh. Like, we hang out all the time, but this was, I think, my favorite, favorite, like, time that we've ever hung out. Like, we just had a great time, and we scored some awesome deals. I'll go ahead and show you guys what I got. I, everything that I purchased on Black Friday was clothing. There was just nothing else that I was really eyeing in particular. Like, it was just my first time going Black Friday shopping, so I wasn't like, I was just kind of seeing what it was like, and just kind of seeing like, if there was something I wanted, I would get it, but nothing like, I had to get there like, for the specific item kind of thing. There's just nothing I really need. I don't need all these clothes either, I have plenty of clothes. There was nothing like, in specific that I needed on Black Friday, for a certain deal. And I don't do gift shopping on Black Friday, because it's chaotic and hectic to like, pick out gifts with people. I like to do most of my Christmas shopping 
for people that I give for online or in, well, obviously at one store. What other option is there? But I mean, not on Black Friday, so all the stuff that I bought is for me. I do have a good majority of my Christmas shopping done, though. So that's good. Again, it's all clothes, no makeup. I don't need any makeup. Heavens, no. And I didn't see any home decor I liked or any. I wanted to stock up on some memory cards for my camera, but the one I wanted wasn't on sale. There was just nothing that else that caught my eye except for some clothes. Anyways, that's it. I'm going to go ahead and get on into this. Unfortunately, I won't be able to link most of this stuff, but I will link the stores that I shopped at down below. Let me know what was your best Black Friday deal that you scored. Let me know in the comments below. I will warn you that it's a lot. This is the most stuff that I've ever gotten all at one time. It's a lot, and I know that. But I scored some amazing deals, and kids' clothes are not as expensive as adult clothing, so it was a great night. And it was my first year of Black Friday shopping, so I wanted to treat myself. But I'm actually surprised that I found stuff, because usually when I want to buy stuff, I can't find stuff that I like and vice versa. Let's go ahead and get into the first store. So I'm going to show you guys stuff from Marshalls first. Marshalls doesn't have Black Friday sales, but we went there anyways because it's Pippi and I's one of our favorite stores like of all time. You guys know I shop at Marshalls so much. Like, it's bad. It's hands down my favorite store. But again, they don't have Black Friday sales, but I found quite a bit of clothing on clearance, so like, you know, Marshalls is affordable as it is. This was like clearance prices on top of like the good prices that they already have. Nothing to do with Black Friday, only a couple of pieces were on clearance, but anyways, let's get into it. Unfortunately, this isn't going to be a try-on, just because getting dressed is a difficult task for me as it is, and it would take me forever and a day to film this. The first thing that I got was this dress, just a stripe of burgundy like maroon dress and it has the cold shoulder style that I love so much but it's long sleeve and then it comes with this scarf I've been super into scarves like this was the main reason I got it but I can only wear kids scarves because like the the really thin ones like these because I don't really have a neck because of my scoliosis like my neck is kind of like compressed I don't really have a neck and the big bulky like adult scarves look like I'm choking myself and proportion wise it just doesn't look right and kids scarves that like look nice are so hard to find and I like scarves because there's not a, a lot of accessories that I can wear I can't wear necklaces because I don't have a neck I don't have my ears pierced I don't want to get my ears pierced I can't wear boots because they're just hard to get my foot in there I just the range of motion that I have so I just don't have a lot of accessory options so I like scarves but again kids scarves are super hard to find so I mainly got to with a scarf and I personally like some people like to mix match patterns but I will not be wearing the scarf with this dress but they came together and this was $9.99. This is one of my favorite things that I got. It's just this dress and it's a beautiful pattern. I just think it's so elegant and just different from anything that I have and it cinches in and I love that and this was on clearance and I was like heck yes this was on clearance for eight dollars such a great deal and it has some flutter I think it's what it called sleeves and I just think it's so like I love this style and it's just different the sleeves are different from what I normally have and I can't wait to showcase this on my Instagram I'm trying to go through this quickly because it's just so much stuff I got another dress just like the burgundy one I just showed you but this is pink obviously and then it comes with a, another scarf they look really similar though, though but it's good to have options and i really like this like this dress as it is it's really hard to show because the scarf is attached but i hope i can get this out i don't uh oh i might be in for a treat because the scarves are attached dang it i might take these back but i can't get it on them why would they do that i really hope we, i don't have to take these back I love them. Oh, that one was $9.99 as well. And the last thing at Marshalls was one of my favorite things. I love the boldness of it and the color and pattern. So it's this cardigan and tank top, but it's all in one. So you wear it together. And I just love that pattern. I think that will look so good with my dark hair. And it's just so pretty and different. And again, I just love it. And it's so soft. Oh my gosh. And you got... This was on clearance for... Dollars. 
I could not pass this up. Had to get it. So that was everything that I got at Marshall's. Now on to JCPenney. They had some amazing sales and I can't wait to share them with you. A lot of the stuff from, from JCPenney is going to be hard to show because of the style that it is. But I will do my darndest and you guys will be seeing the stuff in videos and Instagram and all that stuff. The first thing that I have is this varsity long sleeve tee and this scarf that it came with. And kids scarves are so hard to find so I had to pick this up. I saw this and these are not attached together so I can wear this separately. I got three things that were originally $32 and they were on sale for $12.99 as part of Black Friday of course. This I was so excited about. They had a lot of varsity style stuff. And this varsity cardigan it's super... Oh my gosh, this stuff is so hard to show, I'm sorry. I'm just gonna put this one on. So just this varsity cardigan. I love the color. They had a light pink one. And now that I got this one, I wish I would've got the pink one too. But I was having a little bit of self-control. Or trying to. But then it came with this white tank top. But I unattached it. So I could show you guys the cardigan on. But I love the cardigan because it's so lightweight and comfortable. But again, I wish I would have gotten the pink one as well. I don't know the official name and there was a ton of stuff sold out on the website. So I don't know if I guess I'll get it. And I'm sure it's gone from, oh my hair. I'm sure it's gone from in store because that style is just so cute. But they had a light pink one but I got a lot of light pink stuff. In this haul, so I was trying to like not get everything in light pink, but what are you gonna do? Alright, so this, you guys, I'm gonna be flat out honest. I am not gonna be able to show you this very easily. So, in order to unattach the tank top, but I got this fashion jacket. It's so hard to freaking show you. It's just a little fashion jacket. It's not meant to be for any type of weather, any type of climate, nothing that there's no hood, no anything, just a little a little fashion jacket. So you're not really supposed to zip it up all the way really I don't think because it comes with this tank top to go underneath. I'm gonna unattach that when I wanna wear it. I really like this jacket. Oh and this was originally fifty dollars. Not even kidding. Originally fifty dollars. I got it for nineteen dollars. Like yes please. I would have never paid $50 for this stupid thing. It's not even super great quality. I mean, it's not bad quality, but it's not $50 quality. So that's fun. <laughs> this is the last thing that's very exciting. I just got a pair of socks. I have really wide feet. I mean, they're not excessively wide. I just have wider feet. Penny's has the only socks that fit me well. These were $14, and they were not on sale. I do not remember their socks being this expensive, but what are you gonna do? It's winter, so I need socks, and I hate wearing socks. Fun fact, hate wearing socks, hate wearing shoes, hate wearing things on my feet, but it's winter here in Michigan, and it's essential now. I don't really have a choice, unless I wanna freeze, so I have to wear socks. If the temperature is above 39, I would don't wear socks, but anything below that, I wear socks. Yeah, I had to get some because I'm always losing my socks. I think it's because I don't wear them often. I only wear them November to end of February and then I'm done wearing socks for the rest of the year. They were on sale. They were buy one get one fifty percent off. I was not about to spend $21 on socks. That's just absurd. So I only got one pack, not one sock. Next we're going to go to Meyer. I got clothes at Meyer, so they're not usually my style but they had some hecka cute stuff at Meyer, so I had to get my hands on that. Their sale was amazing on kids clothes. 40% off and then an additional 30 or 40, I don't know. It was like a sale off of a sale. So this stuff was dirt cheap. Clothing at Meyer runs kind of big I feel. So I got like size small and I'm usually medium but the first thing that I got was this royal blue top and it's by the brand Amy Byer and I love it. It's so Fancy and I think it'd be great to dress up and just something nice. I'm, I don't have a lot of like, I mean, I shouldn't say that. I need to get more like dress up kind of clothes. And then it comes with a stupid necklace that I'm not going to wear. So I'll just give that to somebody or sell it on Facebook Marketplace. Okay, so this was originally 
$5. Then it was on clearance for $16. And then I got an, an additional 30 or 40 percent off of that. That's a good deal. Would not have paid 28 for this. Well, maybe I would have. I don't know. This next thing, I think you guys are gonna laugh at me. I liked it and it was cute and it was different and it was on sale. So, you only live once. Do people still say that anymore? I can't take myself seriously. Okay, I got this giant, well it's not giant, obnoxiously faux fur light pink coat with a cold zipper. I just thought it was so fun, like such a fun statement piece and it's so different. I cannot wait to wear this. I bet you this was expensive. It was originally $28 as well, but I think I only paid $12 for this. The last two things I got were some dresses. So the first thing that I got was this royal blue dress with floral, and I was super excited because this is by the brand Between, and you guys know I love that brand. It's always at Marshalls, and I did not know that Meyer started carrying it. No wonder I like this dress, because like everything, they well, shouldn't say everything, most of the stuff I have, like my style, so that was exciting. And this was on clearance for, it was originally 16, marked down for 9.60, and I got an additional 30 off of that, so only $6, around $6. I'm terrible at math. The last thing that I got was this dress, and it's, I really like the colors for winter and fall. I just think it's really pretty and casual, but you could easily dress this up with like a white scarf and It'll just be really pretty. Um, this so is by the brand Falls Creek. Originally 18, marked down for 1080. Got original 30 off of that. Great deal. So I also got a couple things from Forever 21 online. On Black Friday, they were having 30% off everything and free shipping. So I purchased two dresses and a full fur vest. I've been looking for a full fur vest in my size. Found one at Forever 21. Totally grabbed it. I will insert pictures because that stuff is not here yet because I just ordered it on Black Friday, obviously. But I will insert pictures. Um, the reason I waited, or didn't wait to film this haul like I normally do when I shop online is because I just have so much stuff that I got in store. I didn't want this thing piled in my room until that stuff got here like a week later. I want to get this stuff put away so I can start wearing it. That was my first Black Friday experience and first Black Friday haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know it was all clothing, so I hope it wasn't too boring, but I would have got other things if there were better stores in my area. If you enjoyed, again, let me know what the best deal was when you went Black Friday shopping, if you went, and I guess that's all, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!